Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Another wonderful day in the presence of our God. You should know that the breath of life is a gift and it's only God that gives and can take. So when we have the opportunity to gather in his presence, do not take it for granted. Reading the word of God is, you are calling upon his presence, calling upon his word. You know, there's Bible as I said, you cannot ignore his word, even if he ignores his name, but he has respect for the word. So let's dive in. My name is Eretha Uzechi, and as you listen, may be blessed in Jesus. If so, I'm going to read the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 and be fast as possible and pray. Remember, we are being led. It said, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. If you read Old Testament very well, you will know that New Testament is a bliss. New Testament is just so simple to understand, so simple to assimilate, even to just a layman, you should know. But we cannot do anything with our own knowledge. That's why we have to summon the Holy Spirit. Anytime you open the Bible, there's a depth of understanding that we need to fetch out, that to make a difference in our life. It's a be therefore followers of god as dear children remember how your children solely depend on you that's how we should solely depend on god and walk in love as christ also had walked had loved us and had given us himself as an offering as he has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to god for a sweet smelling savour like God accepted the sacrifice. You know when Abel, Abel and Cain gave sacrifice, God did not accept that of Cain. That's why Cain killed Abel because of jealousy. But God, Jesus sacrificed himself and was a sweet smelling servant to God. God accepted it for us to call him father, to be his dear son. There's a Bible verse that says that those that believe, he has given them the power to become the sons of God. I don't know what you're waiting for outside Christ. I don't know what you're doing without Christ. I want you to know that if you believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, you are automatically the sons of the most high God. Hallelujah. With that thought alone, you can go about your day knowing that you are a child of God. Therefore, everything that your father has proposed is in his will. That is what will happen to you. Holy Spirit, we thank you for this greater depth, this greater understanding, for us to be able to implement this knowledge in our everyday life. We give you glory for this wisdom. You have the perfect knowledge. We thank you for sharing with us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Share, subscribe. And Lord of God, go out there through you to have a lovely, lovely life.